The things that you do I should put hole in you The things that you say I wanna fill your mouth with clay The things that you do I should put hole in you The things that you have done Oh baby, if I was you I would run What with the things that you have done Oh baby, if I was you I would run Because you always were a man Who said a lady should know how To hold a gun The things that you have done Oh baby, if I was you I would run So here we are, about a month after Mike's made his evaluation at the Speed Lab, and we're about to check in on his progress. But first, let's learn a bit about his team, Ragged Mountain Racing. This is Mark Lorenzoni. Okay, my name is Mark Lorenzoni, and uh, I'm one of the one of the founders of the Ragged Mountain Racing, and I'm the assistant distance coach, and we uh, co-own the Ragged Mountain Running Shop, my wife and I, since '82. Uh, Ragged Mountain Racing is a a post-collegiate running group in Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, RMR for short, and uh, the goal of our group is to try and get everyone to the 2012 Olympic Trials. Uh, we have people training for distances anywhere from the 800 meters up to the marathon. We have, we have the funded athletes, and then we have the athletes just below the funded level, and then we've got the community folks. And the community folks are people that could grow into those other two layers, but we see them as being very beneficial to the dynamics of the team. With Mike, um, it's interesting because he came on as a community. His background, he's got tremendous times in his background. Um, we haven't seen him at his game yet. He was, he was pretty much injured when he you know, got to us, and we've had a few athletes like that. Not bad, but some of it was shoes, but some of it's you know, biomechanical stuff that he just needed someone to do some tweaking with, and giving him the right, you know, that's where I'm, a, I'm not strong, but then having uh, Jay DeSherry with his, you know, incredible, you know, one of only two in the world uh, treadmills, um, that's, a, that's a really, that's a unique thing. We, we know that there are only two treadmills like that in the world. I think the U.S. Army has the other one. Somebody, certainly it isn't in, and I, I, someone might say, well, we've got a cool treadmill at our place too, but we know that this particular treadmill, there are only two of its kind in the world. It's a, it's a million dollar treadmill. And there's kind of a million dollar guy, he's not being paid a million dollars, but there's kind of a million dollar guy doing the analysis. And I don't know what value you can put on that. Well, this is a month after my, my evaluation, and things have been going well. Uh, as far as the exercises, I've been doing them, and I really think they've been helping. Uh, as far as actually doing the exercises, they're not coming quite as quickly as I had hoped, but the Achilles is feeling really, really good. Uh, no pain in general on most days, so that's good. Um, yeah, things are going well. I'm a, I can kind of train now without worrying about it, and fitness is starting to come back. I'm rooting for him, you know, he's, and he's, he's been also a good example to the other athletes of how if you're willing to listen to someone and listen to their advice and practice their, their advice, you know, practice what they're suggesting, practice their suggestions, he's come back and I have a feeling, you know, he'll he'll this will greatly benefit that he'll be, you know, really, you know, very competitive this spring when he hits the track end. And I doubt he ever gets injured at the same level again. Yeah, it's probably probably gone from about 40 or 50 miles a week to 75 or 80. So we're we're getting up there slowly but surely. And your target mileage is close to 100. Yeah, in the next couple of weeks, I'd like to get back up there. Yeah, maybe five or six weeks. Yep. So Dana's given this workout and says, you know, do X amount of thousands, and he consults with Dana and I, and, and of course Jay has told him to, you know, ease his way back. So if they're doing six by 1,000, he might have done two initially, and they'll do three and four, and I think he's almost up to 100% of the, the workout is my, okay. my impression. Yeah, so now I can, I'm physically able to do the entire workouts, uh, which is good. Um, the only thing is, as as far as the rest of the distance group, they're training for fall marathon, so they're kind of in the peaking phase. 
So it's not necessarily advantageous for me to do the entire workouts now that I'm able to anyways. Uh, so sometimes we modify them a bit, but yeah, in general I can, I'm back hanging in the workouts, so, so that's a very good thing. He's kind of the perfect guy for this because he, he, he does want to excel. He's very hungry and determined, but he's also reverent of his elders, so to speak, meaning that the people around him, he gets it, he understands we're trying to help him. Sometimes athletes find coaches, medical people to be almost, they're like distractors, you know, think they don't get it, they don't understand, I'm hungry right now. The mess that you have made, I should leave you in the shade. What with the mess that you have made, I didn't leave you in the shame. The things that you said, it's true. I have wished that you were dead. The mess that you have made, I didn't leave you in the shame. The things that you do. Of the Speed Labs method for fixing broken runners is strength and stability. They use the treadmill and infrared setup to see how a runner deviates from his or her ideal form, from a balanced platform for running. The Chari then tailors a rigorous set of exercises for each athlete, designed to teach the body to feel comfortable in its recentered form, so that when running the form comes naturally. These exercises are challenging, as Smeda alluded to earlier. They can take several weeks of practice to feel comfortable doing. But that fits with the Shari's mentality. If the body has learned bad habits over months or years, they won't magically disappear. They need the time to be unlearned. <laughs> the road back to form. That's um, alright. All in good time. Did feel like harder than cool. A hug. Oh. You want to stay on the horse and get to <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the athletes, and I don't think this is unique necessarily, but it isn't just...